guys if you are someone who wants to go with the n8 n platform or if you are someone who is actually using make.com or zapier and if you want to switch to n8 n and if you are someone who is actually looking for best platforms that you can actually use to host n8 n then this video has it all covered so in this video i'll be covering two methods which i am actually using now and i'm actually going to show you those two methods which i'm using one is to host n8 n locally which is going to be completely free and the uh, i'll also show you another method where you can actually host n8 n on cloud as well so let's get started with the video usually unlike other automation platforms n8 n doesn't actually have a free plan if you just go with the make.com or zapier they actually have a free plan that you can use when you come to n8 n they don't have a free plan but they offer you a 14 day free trial on their website which you can try it out but after the 14 day free trial, if you want to actually use N8, n you have to take their premium subscription, which is going to cost you around $20 per month. But N8 n is actually open source, which means that you can actually host N8 n by yourself. Uh, it might be uh, hosting it locally or it might be hosting it on the cloud. Don't worry if you don't understand these terms, I'll uh, help you with all the things. So coming to the local part, this would be something that N8 n would be running on your own local machine, like on your computer. This is not going to be connected to the internet. And if you are going to host it on cloud, obviously it is going to be connected to the internet and you would get an IP that you can actually host your server on. I'll be showing you the platform as well in this video. So coming to the pricing thing that you have to do, like for the local host, you don't have to pay anything. Like you can completely install it for free. And coming to the cloud part, I am going to show you a platform which you will like surprise completely. So it's going to cost you very less when you just compare it with the premium plan that they have on the NITM website. So if this sounds interesting, let's get started with the video. So first we will be going with the uh, local hosting part. So once that is done, I'll be covering the uh, cloud hosting as well. So in order to host n locally, we need a platform called Docker. So just go to this particular website. I'll leave a link in the description as well. So just go to the uh, docker.com and just click on download uh, Docker desktop. So based on the operating system, just download it for your operating system. So once you have downloaded, just open the Docker desktop. So this this is how the docker desktop would be uh, looking like so this is my uh, new account so i have deleted all the instances so that i can like show you uh, clearly so once you are here you can just go ahead to uh, the search option and just search for n8 n once you search for n8 n you will have this on the top just click on pull this is going to take some time once this is completely pulled on to your uh, docker you can like completely use it with a single click so i'll just show it to you once uh, this is completely pulled into the docker desktop so once the image is pulled you can like uh, find it under the images section so just click on the images section and you will see an item over here so what you have to do is you just have to click on uh, this run button which you can see here so for the first time you have to configure the settings and from the second time you just have to click on the run button and everything would be on place so just click on this particular uh, section which says optional settings and just just give your uh, container a name and uh, choose the port as uh, 5678 it might be another port as well you can choose it whatever you want and the host path is going to be something where you want to store these files in your computer so this is going to be a local hosting right so you have to store all these files on your computer so make sure to select a path just click on these three dots which you see here and you can select a path and once that is done, you have to give it the container path. This is going to be the same for everyone. So the path is going to be something similar to this. Just paste this path in the particular box and then just click on run. This would now uh, try to run the n item on your local mission and you would be getting a URL that you can access from. So as you can see, we just got an URL. Just click on this and this is going to open up the n item workflow. As you can see, this is my previous account that I've created. And if you don't have it, if you are uh, coming up for the first time, you can like uh, create a free account on n and how you would do it on the website and you would be completely into the workflow. This is how you can actually host your n And if you wanted to stop this particular instance after completing the work, just go back to Docker desktop and just click on this uh, stop button, which you find here. 
that's it uh, it is going to stop the animator and whenever you want to rerun it you just have to come here and click on start that's it this is going to uh, restart the instance now let's actually get into the next part which is hosting animator on the cloud so there is a difference that you have to understand between the local host or the and the cloud host you might actually feel uh, we are hosting animator on our local machine completely for free right so why do we have to uh, get a cloud hosting which is going to cost us money so in the case of local hosting you can't keep Keep running the docker desktop for all the time 24 by 7 right it is going to take you a lot of resources and it's not the best practice to follow in that case hosting it on a cloud would be the better option so let's just go to a website called contabo so in order to host the uh, nitn we need a server which we call it as vps virtual private server and there are a lot of companies that provide these there is hosting that you can get from there are a lot of websites uh, i mean you'll find ton lot of websites but i have checked with all the websites and uh, i mean this is not a sponsor video at all so this is the website that i found like i mean just check with the performance that you would be getting or the resources that would be getting you would be getting three virtual cpu cores and an 8 gigabytes of ram and also 75 gigabytes of nvme ssd this is like an a uh, very good option that you can go with there are like if you check with the competitor which is digital ocean it doesn't have all these resources like it has very less resources for this pricing plan so you can just uh, click on select and you can just go ahead and check out for a month or whatever you can like uh, just uh, go down here and make sure you select the ubuntu here and then just uh, come here and you just have to give it the password here so make sure you remember this particular password this is the password that we would be using when setting up our server so once you give it the password and click on next you would be taken to a billing page where you can proceed with the checkout so once that is done you would be uh, coming to this particular page where you can manage all your servers or all, all your servers on the contable so once you are here you would like you can check my uh, the status of my instance is running and this is the ip address of my uh, instance so in order to connect with the vps or the server that we have just bought we need something that is called ssh client there are a lot of uh, options that you can go with in this video we would be going with terminus or you can like go ahead with putty as well if you are uh, comfortable using it but if you don't have any idea just uh, proceed with the terminus that would help you so just click on sign up uh, in my case i would be logging into my account so once you are into your account you would see an option to download it uh, for your desktop i have downloaded it this is the desktop that i have uh, downloaded it for you can just click on windows mac os linux whatever it may be and you can just download it and once you have downloaded it just uh, open the terminus app once you open it it would look something similar to this it will ask you to sign up using uh, the account that you have created on the browser once you are done you would be coming to this particular interface now what you have to do is just click on new host here you have to paste in the ip address so to get the ip address just come back to your uh, contable panel and you would have your ip address here just click on copy and get back to the uh, terminus platform and paste it here and uh, just name it i'm gonna name it n8n and, and once that is done just click on connect and you would be asked with the uh, username it would be root by default and just click on add and continue and this is the password that you have to enter when you are uh, creating the server or purchasing the server on Contabo. You have actually gave up a password, right? You have to use that particular password here. So as you can see, once you have uh, logged into the Terminus, you would see something similar to this. Now we have the, uh, we are actually connected with our VPS server that we have purchased. Now what we have to do is we have to actually install the uh, N8 in here, right? So in order to install N8 in, we are going to actually uh, make our, uh, what you say, VPS server interface into a graphical interface so that it would be easy for us uh, in order to actually install all the components that we need later as well. You can like use this free resource, which is called Coolify. Just come into the particular URL that I give you in the description and just uh, come into install installation and you would find a url here just try to copy it and uh, just get back to the terminus and uh, paste the url here and once you have pasted it just click on enter this is now going to install coolify into our uh, vps server so that we can actually try to uh, manage our vps server using the graphical interface like if you just uh, check with the wordpress in the case of wordpress we would be uh, managing all our things uh, with a graphical interface 
like we call it admin panel right in the same way we can like uh, use coolify to do all of our stuff i'll just show you the power of coolify in a second after we install it so as you can see uh, once you have successfully installed coolify you would see something similar to, uh, similar to this you would see congratulations here and you would be getting an ip that you can actually access from so here uh, is going to be our coolify now we'll just try to go ahead and uh, create an account here so once you are done giving details just click on register this is going to take you with some onboarding next let's go with localhost and let's create a new project let's do it so i mean just uh, ignore these notifications as of now and we have our coolify interface as you can see this is something uh just check with these uh default options that you can install in our vps server you can uh, install mysql or you can uh go ahead with the maria db i mean just check with all these possibilities and uh, to your surprise you also have the wordpress that you can install here so that's the reason i asked you to uh, first install coolify so that you can manage your server more efficiently so now let's try to make this url a bit more accessible like we just can't remember this ip address right just go to settings and here you will find an option called instances domain so here you have to actually put in a domain let's say if you have a domain you can like uh, add a subdomain to it i'll just show you an example uh this is my uh, digital money dot space dns records let me just uh add in a subdomain here and and i'm going to point it to this particular ip address which i have got from the uh vps server and i'm just going to add this a record so once you are done adding the dns record just get back to the coolify settings and uh, just paste in the domain here https dot space so this is going to be the domain right and i'm just going to copy this domain and let me uh, just save it here and this is saved let me just try to open this so as you can see we have the coolify on our new domain so let's just go ahead and log in so as you can see i have logged in and i am now into my uh, coolify dashboard and that is actually hosted on my uh, new domain so this is how you can try to link up your domain and try to use it so let's just go ahead and create my first project which is now we will be going with the uh, n uh, add a resource and just search for uh, n i10 and you will see the n i10 here just click on that and this is going to be as simple as clicking deploy here just click on deploy and this is going to take some time and this is going to deploy it uh, on a domain so once the installation is done you can just come up into the links here and you can just click on this link and this would take you to our new n i10 instance that we have actually created so guys as you can see if i try to open up this particular url it says that you need to install the https uh, in this right like you need to install the ssl certificate so what we are going to do is we are just going to try to uh, uh like map it in the previous way like we have done so i'll just go to my uh domain settings again let me just try to add in the values and uh yeah let me just uh copy this and uh, i'll try to uh, paste it here and uh, let me save this so i'll just try to restart the uh, server so once you restart the server under the links you would see a new link so as you can see we now have the n that is now running on our uh, new domain so like this is now actually running on cloud and you can uh, use this like however you use make.com and zapier you can like use it completely unlimited i mean you can just based on the resources that you have taken for your cloud vps you can like go ahead and use it with unlimited automation uh, workflows if you check with the n it would have some sort of limitation for the 20 dollar plan as well but for five dollar we are able to uh, go ahead with the unlimited workflows right so this is how you can actually try to uh, do the both things like installing it on locally and also installing it on cloud and if you have any questions in setting this up or if you have anything that you want to get clarified just come up to our discord server i would be happy to help you out and if you find this video helpful just give it a like and i'll see you in the next one